yes, this is sort really. of this is really. sort of riveting programming people America's <laughs> calling for is just oh my god let's turn on car and driver and see if they got where the where the little okay. Porsche crests are painted really really calm down calm. I want to know why I'm just a little sexy that's a problem Joey gets I a shout out for so. interest cell wheel Z F Z F wow hey just <laughs> <laughs> Harnessing the power of the internet. It's time once again for Window Shopping from Car and Driver. Here's your host, Tony Caruga. Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the weekly show where Car and Driver editors, staffers, and a lone road and track contributor, or no, sorry, lone road and track staffer. Editor, Let's, editor. Uh, <laughs> gather to search for cars for sale online based on a challenge. This week's challenge is convertibles. Uh, the sp spring is just around the corner or happening now. Weather is improving. And so we're gonna take a look at convertibles. We set a budget of $30,000, uh, which opens it up. We've done convertibles before, but at a lower budget. So um, I'm interested to see what everyone brought today. Uh, we're joined by um, uh, director of video, Mr. Carlos Lago. Uh, road and Track Senior Editor, Mr. John Perley Huffman, Deputy Testing Director, Mr. Casey Colwell, and Current Driver's Favorite Contributor, Mr. Jonathan Ramsey joins us. Perley, stop getting upset. You're not a contributor anymore. Yeah, but you know, also, is, could Carlos be Video Director as opposed to Director of Video? Oh, my I don't God. know. I, wow. I was just, I actually don't know. Are you, are you at Road and Track, Perley? Isn't that? <laughs> I think my title is okay. actually Deputy Editor, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, your deputy editor of video? I think so. I, promo I, I promoted you, I guess. <laughs> I'll talk later about that raise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Huffman, you want to kick it off? Let's see. What sure, you I'll are. start it off. Uh, I have decided that, you know, I go for something that's kind of a vehicle I've always liked. It's a 1985 Hold on. Celica, Celica GTS. Wow. Is that How aftermarket? Is that an aftermarket convertible top? No, it's ASC. Built these for Toyota. Sold by yep. Toyota. Uh, they, uh, they're, they're, they're very well built cars. Are no it is that. aftermarket. It is aftermarket. Yeah, it is but aftermarket, it, was factory, but... it was factory approved. Fa right, well, it's, yeah. fa it's, well, it's not factory aftermarket. The factory orders it. And the factory has a company do it. It's not aftermarket. It's at factory. Yes, but it wasn't done hmm. in the company's factory. Yeah. It was done under contract from the factory. <laughs> Outside <laughs> in a different factory. <laughs> Did Toyota pay right them to do it? Did Toyota approve this? Yes, absolutely. I mean, there you go. So I did had, it happen? I Sorry, I had an ASC sunroof in my Festiva that ASC <laughs> put in, and it, it was aftermarket. I mean, I loved it, but it was aftermarket. This is not aftermarket if it's okay. marketed by the company that sold the car. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna do a rare thing here and side with Pearly that this is. I'm gonna say it's not aftermarket, but it's, it's definitely not in between. The same. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's not a factory. Either. It's not a factory convertible. Right. No, it's, but it's not aftermarket either. It. But it's they, not they, aftermarket they, they, either. Well, I they mean, so it. what? So if if uh, if uh, if a uh, if a Toyota Supra is built by by Magna, it's not a Toyota. Well, no, but that's but that's in a that's factory. Different. And that's also like, factory. like if I order if I order a, if I order a Hennessy. And I pick it up at a Dodge dealership. It's still oh, a I thought you meant, I you meant like, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. This is this, this is way different than than that but, kind of aftermarket. Like this no, is no, something um, that Toyota approved. Like Toyota contracted these people to make these. This it, wasn't it, dealerships. This wasn't. It, this wasn't. This wasn't Bob's Dodge in in Poughkeepsie. Well, right, right. Look, is no, the Colorado right. is the Colorado Bison? aftermarket or is that oh god jonathan jonathan uh, jonathan, if I, we... jonathan jonathan if i order if i order a hennessy at a bar <laughs> and you get it at a dodge dealership then, the then it is factory oh, okay man. i'll give god, it to you this is it so... is factory <laughs> This is Sorry, Earl, also, Earl, 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 wait, 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 this, you don't think you don't think asc used a factory to do the conversions they used a garage. <laughs> Burley, it, was, Burley. it was the 80s, Burley. Burley, scroll through the photos. I think the trunk, the GTS badge, I think is in the wrong location. I love that. Oh, man. I, I love that so. we've already dipped into badge location. <laughs> but, Burley, give your presentation. Uh, it's a, it's a, I'm, I'm, it's I don't a beautiful that, car. I don't think that's the wrong location. I don't know. Let me check. I'll I'll look at the internet. That does, does not look like it yeah. looks like it's standing proud of the, it looks uh, like of the well, radius. Okay, <laughs> so that that trunk lid, that trunk lid is probably a part that ASC made. 
No, it's not. The trunk lid is, is the, you know, they had a notchback. It's the same notchback trunk lid from the notchback uh, Celica. I don't know. Let me look at the badge placement. Go, go talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> well, this is the night. This is the 1985 Toyota Celica GTS, which is, a, a, I believe, a one year model. They only built the convertible for one year, which was, and it uses a lot of parts from the Supra. So it uses like the Supra fender flares, uses the Supra wheels, uses the Supra interior, including the Supra seats. What it retains is the fabulous 2.2 liter 22 RE engine making 116 horsepower. This one has a five speed manual transmission, but the 22 RE is basically the same engine they use in the trucks. So it's pretty, it's pretty agricultural, but it's also legendary for not having any moving parts and therefore never breaking. And, uh, you know, so you end up with a car that's, uh, that is what it is. Thank it's you very not much. much of a, it's not much of a sports car motor though. It's not a sports car at all. This is a this is a cruiser. It's like a six cylinder Mustang, but with a better looking and kind of an interesting take because it's it's unique because you it's only one year and they didn't build very many and very few survived. Very cool really, looking. most of that sounded just like a Price is Right. This is our new car thing, which is very nice. I enjoyed that immensely. Took well, me back to my you, childhood. Thank you, thank you very much. I always aspired to be. Uh, what was his name? Johnny Olson, the original uh, the original announcer on the Price is Right. Come on down. You're the first. <laughs> So this is the, uh, thank you very much. Please Can we see the me. interior? Can we see the interior? This is all there is. This is, it. This, this is all the photos. There's there one are. interior shot. There's one interior yeah. shot. Let's there see. it is. These it are is the, a manual. Uh, yeah, these are the super oh, seats. These are the same cool. seats. So it's the super sport seats, which are really good seats. bolsters. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. If it's Joey a, was here, if Joey was here, he'd love that steering wheel, which I think was shared with the Tercel. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it was shared with everything that Toyota was building at the time. It's a super, but it's basically a four cylinder super because I think these had, I'm not, I, I, I'm trying to remember if these had independent rear suspension or not from the super. Joey yeah, gets I a shout out for so. Intracell wheel. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Pearly, how many miles are on it? Did you go through this? That? This one's got some miles on it. This has got like a hundred, like a hundred thousand miles on it. It's got uh, 98,505 miles. That's so, but I mean, great. seven years. Pearly, these were like $10,000 cars. They were expensive. They were really expensive. No, no, no. I mean, they were ten thousand dollars cars like five months ago. I've seen these for a lot less than thirty thousand dollars with a hundred thousand miles. Dude, I, I'm not. I'm not actually going to buy this. It's just something I need to bring up. I don't really think about the price. If it's underneath the limit, I throw it up on the thing. I'm not sitting here trying to get the best deal on one of these. Oh, so things. you're not trying to win? Is essentially what you're saying. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> well, didn't, that's. I mean, the thing is, go, what am I supposed that's to do? That's the what implication. <laughs> hey, Pearly, Pearly, go up for a second. Go there. Go to full size photos. Down, down, down. Down, 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 down. Right there. See how it says one of 74? There are lots of photos. There you go. Red Knight's going down. Um, down, down, down. down. Oh, boy. <laughs> Red Knight's going and down. And this was. Pearly, go back. Okay. Now, uh, just no, no, no. Click, click through those photos. Click video. Click video. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> there. There's lots of photos. The five mile an hour bumpers aren't super attractive, but this is a cool car. A very cool car. It's very, it's unique and it's different. You know, you're not buying this car to, have, your car is a conversation piece and this is an interesting piece of conversation. It's expensive though, for what you're getting. Oh, who cares? I'm not actually buying it anyhow. This is just for this show that we do a little, little uh, goofball thing that we do every week. I believe it's called This uh, Thing. I was going to say, yeah, that's week. the quickest way to not get invited. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> This thing, uh, not this a bad thing. trunk. Oh, come really? On. The the badge location is correct. Yeah, that I thought is, so. That is where it was. And the, yeah. do you know what these wheels are from? There's from the, the Supra. steering wheel. There's the from steering the, wheel. There are also there, no, there are also some Lotus that you're going to bring up. Yeah, the, they're the Lotus Eclat, the Lotus Eclat yeah. wheels. Yeah, the Lotus Eclat wheels, which is the same thing. Oh, aftermarket radio. Yeah, Interior aftermarket looks radio. clean though. Interior looks really clean. Yeah, it's nice. Casey, what do you think about that cigarette lighter um, placement? Go back to. Pearly, come on. What do you I think about that orientation? It, that's not that's the right orientation. Upside down. That's that's you're you're emptying the bong water. Yeah. <laughs> emptying the bong water. Oh god. All right, that's Pearly. Insane. That's too much for you, Pearly. Uh, you know, I'm the only guy I know my age has never smoked marijuana, so no. Yeah. Hey, you don't. Know. I've never smoked marijuana either, Burley. So uh, no, I went straight to heroin because I said, "Why take the intermediate steps?" <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I thought, you know, if you're in for you're in for a dollar, in for in for it all. So I just took it. We all. have to. I, we need to get a list of things we can say and can't say because I'm I'm getting a bit confused about what's mm -hmm. allowed and what is. Yeah. 
It'll just, just Carlos. I'd, 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 edit it out. I'd rather not get into our individual drug histories. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much of a drug in. I'm the most boring person on earth. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I'm really boring. All right, Carlos, <laughs> what have you brought to the convertible party? So the hardest thing was trying to choose uh, a vehicle that I thought would best represent, you know, the requirements. And the obvious answer is Miata. I didn't want to go obvious. So I wanted to go something that would be, uh, like Pearlie says, a conversation starter, but also a piece of automotive history in many ways. Oh, boy. Yeah. so i chose the prowler right i don't want to get too like you know revisionist history but hold on so back to back to the mention of hennessy is is, was that involved in this choice i believe are and we be very important in the future you know for their historical relevance right so no no they will not be important yes this car ushered in the retro modern design craze that it happened in the like early 2000s. And I think it was the best execution of that design trend. Uh, uh, come on, it looks better, like... Better th- uh, Go ahead, Tony. This one, oh, God, that grill. That I think grill we're all about to pile like... on. So, so <laughs> if anyone wants to start... The car, Tom Gale, <laughs> very, very nice guy. I had the pleasure of meeting him a couple of years ago. Also responsible for 94 Ram, also responsible, or partly responsible for 92 Viper as well. So... right. Some, knocked out some really stunning cars from Chrysler. Was responsible okay. For okay, it. this doesn't look like an iron with wheels to you. <laughs> I mean, and also, and it's okay. a better a better example of resto than the Viper. Well, also, okay, so we're now retro, we're retro unit, not resto, retro, retro modern uh, construction techniques, right? So, this car was chrysler's first foray into aluminum manufacturing and you know taking that stuff seriously there's a lot of really neat for the time uh, yeah construction happening underneath this car i i agree pretty easy to maintain from the videos that i've watched never you know bought one or driven one but it's a fairly simple car they have zero structural rigidity and there's zero interior space it is a very uncomfortable and terrible car to drive also when when the top is up you can't see out of it either wait but does it come with the trailer so I was I was just getting to that. So this this is the you could get. I want to say oh like five thousand bucks. You can get the trailer, the color match. Excuse wow. me. To tow with your prowler. Uh, I pulled up the ninety seven uh, test of it. So they had two different engines, right? So right. This is the nine, early one. Two hundred fourteen horsepower and four speed automatic. Always had the four speed auto, and this one did like zero to sixty in like the seven second range. Early. Are you allergic to the oh, Prowler, Pearly? <laughs> Pretty much. Like hope so. 50 horsepower, and that one did 60 in like the high fives. So like I think just skated under uh, the six second range. Uh, but I think this car is going to be a really interesting piece in the future. You pull up somewhere, there's you're not going to see anything like it. The cost to maintain this thing is very simple. Yeah, it's not going to be the most exciting car to drive. But looking at this driving, it's clearly not what you're going after here right like look at the front bumpers <laughs> yeah driving I mean, it is definitely not what you're going after yeah yes. because you know you're not going to see many crossfires either in the future and i don't also, think this is a very cool car for less than 30 grand this is this is this oh. is a car for i, I, I got car- two or three cooler cars for under 30 <laughs> auto gear attack just two or three yeah, this, this, this car for the guys who are 70 years old who didn't have enough guts to get a real 32 ford i mean and that center console Oh my god! This did launch the uh, didn't it launch Auto Stick? No. Yes. Auto no. Stick. Auto no. Stick was Auto launched on Neon. No. no Auto, Auto Stick was from Intrepid and in, uh, from no, the uh, it was, LH it was, cars. It was first on the Eagle Vision. The LH was an LH. It's an LH car. Appointment steering right. wheel comes from Grand Cherokee, I believe. You know there was that all stuff, but this car in '99 uh, had more, I think, standard features than the Viper, right? So you got leather seats. What? Everything, wait, wait, see, everything had, oh, more it had windows. The Viper, <laughs> yeah, Viper didn't even have windows. What the hell? <laughs> exactly. So, it's certainly a more livable car than the Viper was. Yeah, but I mean, it's more not a Viper. Li- oh, I mean, a Viper. More livable if it the Viper didn't this. come with this trailer either. Like, a Viper has four more cylinders. Oh. And a manual transmission. And it's fun. Yeah, two more and years. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> And the other thing is that the Viper, days. you know, you could actually drive pretty fast. And when the Viper crashed, you died. Well, you, yeah, you could also drive the Viper fast backwards. Yeah. <laughs> if, uh, if it so came that, to it. Doesn't, doesn't, my case. 
doesn't this use the the transaxle from the LH, LH car. cars in the it back, but just yeah. mounted in the back? Yeah. Yeah, they just put it. They just, all they did was they took the, the drivetrain from the LH and they put a torque tube between a the torque two. tube between them. Yeah, just yeah. Well, I mean, it, and yeah. wasn't this such a disappointment because everyone was expecting no, a V eight and it came. That with isn't just what they did. That yes, it be. is. It is what they did. It can't be because the input is so the input they came in ninety degrees to the rear. No, 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 Casey, no, no, no. no. LH is, LHs are north south. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. They had those messed up ones. Okay, all right, yeah, all right. And then what? Hey, this- hey, hey, Carlos, go ahead and edit that out. <laughs> Casey, you are Carlos corrected. Carlos is like for one vote, you will get one edit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll get a th- you'll get a thumbs up here for for a strong edit there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think very cool car, very cool conversation started, very cool uh, moment in American vehicle history. And uh, Carlos, Carlos, time. can you go to the photo of the equalizer so we can discuss? This and Carlos, yes. hold on. Carlos, Carlos what was this settings? was this just oh. about was this just about left field for the challenge or? Are you serious about everything you're saying now? I, I would never own one of these, right? Flat out. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> but for someone else, it will be an amazing I, conversation I totally piece. See, I already have like a fun vehicle, right? Like I don't need another one. And but I think this is a really cool um, moment in American. They are cool, and the, the engineering. What, the engineering is interesting. Is that what yeah. we're doing now? I already have one thing I like. I don't need another but, thing I like. But is the engineering that interesting when the experience is so bad? That's what I mean. It's more interesting to talk about as a, a example of that moment of America. I mean, it's like this is a great example of what not to do. Well, it's design and style, but then yeah, the driving experience is not wonderful. Sure, yeah, that's true. I mean, I mean if you want even the driving the experience, Miata, right? Like done. That's that's the obvious solution. You got to bring mm-hmm. those levels down. Well, it's also it's also um, pretty. The fader is really far forward. The oh, really? fader. It, oh, it as is. if anyone <laughs> was using a fader. It's on the right there. Wait, there's a there's a front fader, the fader. The fader. The fader. Yeah, it's a, it's the joystick to the right of the tape yeah, player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. But how is wait? Why did it have that when it's only got one row it's of four speakers? Seats. It's a four. It's probably because four speakers. There's four speakers. There's speakers mm-hmm. behind the this. thing is that you know it's important to make sure you get the balance right because you're playing a cassette tape. <laughs> I, I'm and, imagining this radio probably came from something yeah. else with no, I, with no changes. What's the first song you'd listen to in your prowler, Carlos? Oh, probably something like ZZ Top or Van Halen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some ZZ Top would be good. Probably Panama, you know? Panama. Wow. Anyway. All right. Thank you, Carlos, for your. Uh, <laughs> David Lee your, Roth of a car. For your choice. Uh, Mr. Ramsey, are you ready to play? I am ready to play with the help of one oh, yeah. Casey Caldwell. Please. I got to share this. Okay, wait a minute. And I did not choose this uh, because I messed up a whole bunch of things this week, but I wholeheartedly endorse this choice. All it's right. a good uh, choice. Get ready it is, for it. It's a fantastic choice. No, wait. Nobody's seen this yet. And I also endorse it because <laughs> I, while having this in Ohio many years ago, uh, I met a bartender uh, who... <laughs> declared this a panty dropping car oh and, interesting um and what was his it, what was his it's name interesting what, what? also i'm noticing that this is a starting bid oh not oh. a buy it now oh. reserve not met we're we're going to allow it okay <laughs> <laughs> so all right let me click scroll let me, through let, the me photos. let me let me click to enlarge <laughs> so enlarge the panty drop uh now this Cadillac, bartender was a male or a female she was a female okay did you have um, the car that, like as a press car like you drove it to the bar yeah, I, I had it as a press car and i i did drive it to the bar <laughs> yes. did you order did you order a hennessy <laughs> i was not a hennessy drinker at the time nor am i now I, wait, wait, wait were you once no, no he's <laughs> not, okay. I have never been a Hennessy drinker and uh, I'm trying to avoid that phase, but um, I was a big fan of the XLRV. Uh, That's cool. They're great they, looking cars. These North, these North stars have the same problem with head gaskets that the transverse ones did. Uh, yeah. They're like oil pan gaskets. I'm not sure if they're head gaskets too. So, but these they're are easier gaskets. to fix because, of, but these are easier to fix because of the engine position. I don't know if they are. I don't know if they are or not. And well, I don't know if they, they might have solved the problems by then when they went into the XLRV, because this is like, you know, a decade after the North Star launched. More right. than a decade. And I mean, did they even sell enough of these for people to, I mean, this is have talking problems. about like early 70, early 70 year olds, like yeah. you never like saw these around. 
Yeah. But we're, we're well, these, bearing the lead on this. These are Corvettes. These are yeah. small Corvettes. Yeah. 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 Corvettes and they, but they, they also spent a ton of money getting the North Star to run North South, which was, wasn't that started with that, uh, that Shelby, yes. what, the Shelby Series One? The Aurora. That, the Aurora. Yeah, yeah that, that, but that, that, had the, that had the Oldsmobile version of the. It had the, the Oldsmobile version, but it was, it was like, a, there was like a great expense that GM went to make that engine work North South. And then that project just, you know, evaporated. Aren't the taillights on these like horrifically expensive to replace? I don't know. I'm sure there's there's not a thing on this car that isn't horrifically expensive to replace. I believe they're like tied into like a computer system and it's like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Oh, like there's a computer like for each taillight? There's like a circuit like board in there or something? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everything, this, everything about this car is expensive to fix. Oh, well, this was like the era where that was just beginning. Like, I don't know if it was this Escalade or the one that just came like after this car, but that's when. Like they got dinged as sort of the poster child of having absurdly expensive tail light, uh, headlights was uh, that one. But I think this was that era. Um, but I mean, 443 horsepower, 414 pound feet of torque. Like, what are you going to complain about in a Cadillac? Like, I think this is th this and the last CTSV, uh, two of the best examples of Cadillac in the past for me, 15 years. Well, you go Casey, this Casey can we see the interior? Yeah, yeah, I'll go to the interior. Also, Tony, were you on the PR ride and drive? I don't know if there are. are there no, we're the shots? we're the we're the guy. Yeah. So the interior is really plasticky. Although the V, I think some of the V's had like a leather stitch dash, which is oh, there you go. Yeah, the, that, this one got doesn't it. have it. No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does. This, this is, no, it doesn't. That's not a stitch right there. Oh, I don't know. Well, maybe that it does. Like, yeah, and it's it. got stitching on the doors. You're right, Casey. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, it was the actual, falls around. like the leather wasn't, yeah, the leather wasn't the best. I mean, Cadillac has always had, I think, a problem with its choice of leathers. Like, I don't know where they're getting their cows from or their tanning processes, but they aren't the most pleasant leather sensations. I um, just looked up a report on the taillights. So they cost up there, upwards of $3,000 cool. per taillight. Wow. Yeah. You're over budget per, per now. Per taillight. GM no longer so, produces them. So it's a printed it, circuit board with LED strips. Okay, so he was right. If, if yeah. so... So if you see one of these at a junkyard and it's got the tail lights, get the tail lights. Totally. So I anyway, told everyone my business plan. So we've done. <laughs> we used to do. We used to do, and I think we're going to bring it back. But we used to bring all the all the like manufacturer PRs together to do like a drive where they drive everybody else's car, and and inevitably there would be, um, you know, there'd be a couple of like high horsepower things, and and there are a couple spicy turns on this on this route that we uh, that we had, and. Somebody kind of missed the turn and went through a, um, a uh, field. Uh, went through a field with with like a barbed wire fence. In and the XLRV. In the it, I don't know if it was a VR, if it's just an XLR, but it was, it was it was one of these. Yeah, it was one of these. And basically, the uh, the the barbed wire like went up the eight pillars and then snapped down. So it like went through. So it like expanded and mm -hmm. like snapped down and cut the top of the headrest off essentially. And it was just like sheer luck that the that the guy that the guy driving was short enough that it didn't take his head off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would have been really bad. Oh yeah, it would, that would have been. Uh, that, uh, we 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 probably wouldn't be doing this podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we still would be. <laughs> you hey, can we see the brake fluid? Uh, the brake fluid color. Oh brake. god, don't. Oh. Do <laughs> A little dark. No, 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 no. Don't do the brake fluid. This is not some sort of brake fluid fetishist podcast, is it? Bro, it's already done. Always, we already did uh, the brake fluid. You can, fluid. Already, you can always does. change the brake fluid. I can't tell what kind of tire that is. It looks like a, an all season of some sort. That's a I mean, this is what, 67,000 miles or something? How much were these when uh, they were new? They were like 90 grand, 100 grand. How much were they? They were expensive. Uh, you want they me to look really at the awesome. road test real quick? Too much. One hundred and six thousand fifty-five dollars. Wow. Two thousand nine Cadillac XLRV. One hundred and six thousand. Back when that was. So it would have been. It would have been a hundred thousand if the tail lights without the tail lights. <laughs> That's if you'd if you could have optioned it without tail lights. The tail light value package that they would brand that as now. <laughs> tail light delete. Tail light delete. Value value package. Package. Delete. Exactly. Yeah. Save yourself six grand. <laughs> Stop by Pet Boys. But I mean, I. I it truly enjoyed this car like a boulevard well, the, cruiser oh oh last time i was in bowling green we stayed at a hotel uh we were using the corvette track and about 10 of these rolled in because they were mm -hmm. doing their they were doing their pilgrimage to the museum <laughs> in their in their cadillac c5s it did was, you get it was a look at cool the uh, did you get a look at the owners though uh they were you know they were um distinguished gentlemen 
They were old guys. They're all dead now. Like it was they, two like years the, ago, like they the all died Murphy of old movie? age. It's been two years. They're all dead. <laughs> Pearly, there are a lot of these on the market. I mean, there are so many of these. It, yeah, they, they are. They're right now a, a top estate sale car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they, good, because people deserve to try these out before also, the taillights all go. Yeah. Well, the, Pearly, the, is, is, the, is the URL top estate sale cars uh, taken? <laughs> I don't know. I should be doing estate sale cars. Nothing but estate sale cars. I just remember that these were hard tops because I just looked. Yeah, it's a it's a power retractable hard top. Yep. Yeah. Um, here I'm going to. And didn't isn't this the car that introduced the Led Zeppelin campaign with a um, rock and roll? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh, which I was thought, a huge, I thought, I thought huge these cars campaign are for Cadillac. Vastly better looking with the top down than they are with the top up. <laughs> so if you win, if you win, Jonathan, um, we get to the viewers get to hear that uh, com- commercial and hear the song. Oh man, yeah, who doesn't want to hear some Zeppelin? I, I much much we'll better look, it. much better looking with the top down. <laughs> Copyright. It looks no, it looks it looks like the show car with the top up. No, it exactly. looks better the, with the top the, down. Wasn't it the Cadillac I CN? I think yeah, the CN was the. Look show at that! Car I think it looks great with the top up case. Or how fast? Yeah, yeah. How quick was it? How quick was it? Uh, these were like high fours, I think. Yeah, yeah four, four, seven. Se- four seven to sixty. Uh, so slower I mean, they're, than they're the Corvette. Flat at one, I mean, 110 miles an hour in the Corvettes, you know, nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, but that's interesting that quicker. they were governed. Well, 100, 110 well, on a 13 second clock, it shows that it's just starting to breathe at the top end there. What were they governed at, Casey? 155. Oh, uh, yeah, the German. Let me were zoom bit. At Let me... that. Yeah, no, none of these drivers are going to be doing anywhere near that anyway. How much yes, did it will. weigh? 3840. So it's a lot heavier than the Corvette. 50 50 weight distribution. But a lot of that was was the luxury that was in it versus what you got in the Corvette at the time. Because a lot, I mean, a lot, a lot, again, a lot of these. I have a C5 sitting in my garage, and it was even a C7, I guess, at the time. Was C6? Was this 2009? This is C5. This is, this is C5. Oh, C5. So, yeah. 67 yeah. decibels at, at 70 is pretty good for a convertible. Sure. Yeah. It's a cool car. They, 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 and yeah. you know, you know that they were bought by the demographic that took care of them. <laughs> yeah. Like the, the Elante demographic all moved to mm, hi, Barry. There was no Elante demographic. <laughs> <laughs> so ghosts. Wait, wait. That's not <laughs> true. Elante. That's not true, Burley. I've I've watched a YouTube video of Elante owners <laughs> of talking about has. the Elante. <laughs> of course he has. The only the, oh, there's only yeah. one person I know who actually bought an Elante for full price. That was well, Robert E. Peterson. Who owned, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Just thought I'd okay. share. All right, I'm going to help. You know, he's dead now. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Pearly. Uh, Mr. Colwell, what, All right. uh, what convertible have you selected? What three, um, what three liter convertible? Well, yeah. So I was, I was a little torn. Um, let me share my screen here. That's a Natalie and Bruglia song. <laughs> I was like three liter convertible torn. is not an anything a convertible, really is all, but it should be. <laughs> the torn is, isn't it, Jonathan? Yeah, it, is. it is. I love that you come to me now that I'm Natalie Merchant. I'm all well, we have. I, I feel like <laughs> we have similar. I feel like we have similar musical taste. Oh, a three liter four cylinder <laughs> engine. They overlap certainly. <laughs> nice uh, this is not nine sixty eight. Nice choice. No, nine forty four has two cabrio up in the left corner. Beautiful. I love uh-huh. it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, it's got like sixty thousand miles on it. Um, these these are going to climb in value. Twenty four thousand five hundred euros. But the, I thought you said this is about twenty five grand. It's not three oh, liters. It's two five. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's a three liter. When S two S two is or three liters. Oh, US wow. is two hundred eight horsepower. It's the pre Vanos, yep. the pre variable valve timing car, which nine sixty eight got. That there's a Targa behind it. But these were Targa. but these were much better with the top down than the top up. That's not okay, nice... Casey. This is not a factory convertible. This is done by um, ASC. Yeah, same people who did the Celica. No wonder. Oh, so someone had some skin in the game. Early. Oh, well, <laughs> write that down. All right, I mean, I can go back to my one eight if you want me to go to a. Uh, no, 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 no,
I can't Are see you sure? that. Yeah, you, yeah. I, I, I can't. Can you see that? How yeah. can I see it? He, I can he can't. See he can't. He can't. No. Really? Okay, you can't tell me you can't see that. I no, I can't. No. Wait, let me let me do some crazy like. I'm on a small per, monitor. Enlarge, enlarge. Yeah. Do some CSI. Stuff. Enhance, enlarge, enhance. Enhance. That's right. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah. Suck oh, on that. Oh, oh my god. Oh jeez. So, so, so one good. wheel so cool. is okay. One wheel. <laughs> one. Right. Two right. wheels are okay. Oh okay. my god. Let's just can all we right. just assume no, no, no. that they're all okay? <laughs> no, no, really. no, we're going <laughs> through this now. Really, this is. Oh yeah, uh, that's the right same. Right. Isn't that the Boom. same side? Isn't that that's the same side? It's the same oh. side. There's obviously a front and a rear. So now, well, so no. now we need to look for the left. That was one we looked at before. We just looked for the left hand side ones now because we got to see these all the things. Yeah, this is sort really. of this is really, sort of riveting programming. People, America's <laughs> calling for is just. Oh my God, let's turn on car and driver and see if they got where the where the little okay. Porsche crests are painted. Really, <laughs> really, calm down, calm down, really. Well, I just want you to know that road and track. We don't give a about this sort of. Uh, right, because we, you guys we don't, don't know give a how crap to buy about cars. details. <laughs> I've seen the, I've seen the cars that your staff owns, and they're not as good as the car and driver's man, staff cars. Man. <laughs> yeah, Mets. yeah, yeah. I get in my truck. I'll show you those. Hey, just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, EIC just dunked on Pearly. Uh, yeah, look the, at that's the, called the top, posterizing. The top leaves quite a bustle, like uh, because it's it, after yeah, market. huge yeah. bustle. But there's a is that a wind deflector in the uh yeah it looks like it's yeah. got one yeah oh, okay oh yeah looks like it does it's an early wind deflector you know which car introduced the wind deflector and they're convertible that's okay mm -hmm. yeah Merce was in the SL? No? No. No. Not, not the r 129 nope the R second the f fc rx7 convertible introduced it in like 86 or 87 Oh, 87, 88. I think wow. 88 was actually 88. The first Is that when the convertible came out? Yeah, 88. Yeah. Which I was that car was that a factory convertible pearl? <laughs> I think it was an ASC conversion. No. I think it was too. I think it was a conversion. <laughs> who did wait, but no, really, who who did the uh, who did the uh, 944 conversions? ASC. A ASC. ASC. I will even for the ones out. in even for the ASC okay. had actual operations I, in Europe. I would rather it. have that Targa in the back, the 993 Targa as my convertible. Who wouldn't? This. Everybody wants the 993 tar target. It, it doesn't the meet cars. the budget. It doesn't meet. Yeah, the but budget. the 993 target with that wasn't like a real Targa, right? No, Didn't that it, was, it was yeah, like the, the, the it was like the giant slid. sunroof that slid down. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. But that's but see, still if, a great car. But if you look at well, if you look at the cut line on the Targa, Casey, it's a cabrio that they fitted that glass roof and top to. That was going to be yeah, like the C pillar, the C pillar cut line. Well, yeah, well, right, right well, there. The, the, yeah, the irony, right. the irony is, is that they changed the Targa to become a cabrio, and then they made the Targa by adding a top to the cabrio. So it's kind of like it, it's a weird kind of evolution. That's an Alanis Morissette song. <laughs> Who knows? I care about cars, not music. <laughs> oh my goodness! I got details. Only, you only, know. only the big. <laughs> well played, sir. <laughs> well played. <laughs> All right, uh, you guys ready to see the winner? Boom! Two thousand. Uh, Two thousand seven. Oh. Jaguar. Hang on, Very I gotta nice. move you guys so I can scroll through the photos. Two thousand. Oh wait. Whoop. <laughs> there we go. Uh, hang on. Let's I'm text her a question. See if she can answer. It's so 2007, 2007 Jaguar XK8 convertible. I didn't go with the XKR. Uh, Is there a reason you didn't I go with the XKR? I, why can't I, I click? I want to see a question because I don't know how much this thing costs. Oh, it's twenty four thousand. I'm well under budget. Twenty four. How many miles on it? Forty seven thousand. Uh, That's not bad. Wow. Forty seven thousand. Um, yeah. It's the so I like this because it's uh, the color of our long term. Car. I was going to say it's identical. Yeah, it's identical. Oh, where's our long term car? Here's our long term car. Um, mm. That's which was gorgeous. a lovely, lovely car that I sort of fell in love with. And I think I'm probably aging into at this point. Um, <laughs> aging into. Aging into. <laughs> You're backing into it? Yeah. So, <laughs> and speaking of aging, this is the car that I took to my first colonoscopy. <laughs> wow. That exact is, car? Okay, okay, wait a second, wait a second. Yes, how'd really. that go? How'd that go for you anyhow? It went me. fine. It went fine. Okay. And uh, do you Smooth. have pictures? Do you have pictures? You and when you share? when you walked in, did they say, "Let me guess, colonoscopy"? So it's a one. It's a, <laughs> yeah, you pulled up to the colonoscopy valet. They're like, "Okay, you here for the colonoscopy?" <laughs> Third right floor on the right, sir. Go through those doors. Did you, did you do the prep? You're all prepped. <laughs> Wait, this may be our long. This may be our long term car. No, no, no. It's not. It it lived its life. Um, it lived no, it could life. be. 
Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what? No, our, our car was titled in Jersey, Casey. We had a DTM plate, though. What didn't it had a D, had a manufacturer? Right, plate. right. Did you right. see? I I just saw the thing up at the top. It said oh, corporate ownership. So right, I think it was just somebody leased it. It was like a corporate lease or something. Because it, then it became like um, it lived in Nevada, and then it went to Virginia, and then it was in Florida. So it's been in you know non rusty, non salt states. Did you want to say? Look look down, look down here. Look down here at the mileage inconsistency. Mileage inconsistency. That's the service department probably typing it in wrong. Where do you Are see you the sure? mileage? Go down. Keep Pearly. going. Keep Pearly. going. Keep... Calm. Okay. They're Calm usually down. highlighted. Yeah, keep Where going. do you see a mileage inconsistency? Keep going. Keep going. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. They make it like big and bold. They so do. They can... have a big and bold. It was... Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right this there. Is, this is riveting. Right there. Oh, yeah, that was a typo. Forty-two. Probably. That should be either. It's probably 45. a 42, it's, 8, 1, 5. No, yeah, 45. I mean, the 5 is right below the 8. It could be a 45. It could be. So, a, Pearlie, what are you suggesting happened here? So, from from the, from the, in this year. I'm suggesting, I mean, I'm suggesting. It's just, it's, it's, it's they rolled a the digital odometer back. I, I, yeah, yeah but they only, Casey, Casey, they only rolled it back by 2,000 miles. And there's yeah. Nancy Pollock. So, uh, 400 horsepower. I'm sorry, 300 horsepower. 300 horsepower. Zero to sixty in how quick was it? Let me see. And wait, just, just make sure though. Why didn't you choose the XKR? Because you know I, I don't need that. This is plenty quick. You don't. Oh wow. Dag is, that, is that what we we say now? We don't need that. Well, you know, it's still a sub six seconds zero to sixty. It's still yeah, that plenty four quick. two that and that four two sounds amazing. It well, does. It does and, but so, but the supercharged one sounds amazing, and it goes like it's quicker. But you know, this is quick enough, and this oh, is a beautiful quick car. Enough, okay. It is a you're, pretty you're car. You're right. It is, it is a pretty car. Gorgeous. All right. And the interior is fantastic. Wait a minute. One of those is 2007. The other is 2009. Well, oh, no. this is the one I'm presenting. Okay, 2007. Got it. And it's got yeah. Continentals on it, but I did source. You can get some Pilot Sport 4s's <laughs> for it, or this new Potenza Sport, which is a great tire. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's super clean. They're keeping it indoors. I love the color combo. It's sort of I mean, like that, a Bill. It's sort of like the Bill Blass Mark uh, Five. Bill and Mark. Blass. Oh God. <laughs> we'll pretend you didn't say that. Um, that infotainment system, though, is miserable. It's wretched. It's, it's old, but it does have Bluetooth. It does have Bluetooth. <laughs> and it does come with a colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> Always good. Yeah. Oh, and that's All back right. when they were still trying to uh, keep the J Gate going. Yeah, it's sort of yeah. an L gate. Yeah. yeah. It's got the six speed. It's got the ZF six speed, which is a great gearbox. Um, just a super I mean, clean the engine original just pulls car. And pulls. Yeah. It's a ZF. Sorry. No, beautiful really? car. The ZF, not ZF. Is that, is it's it, ZF. Uh, say the alphabet backwards, please, Pearly. <laughs> I'm not going to even get. Though. You didn't even get the full one syllable out. Z F. Z F. Wow. Z. <laughs> what did they do to you, Pearly? What, uh, yeah, what, what just did happened? ZF do to you? <laughs> Pearly, he's, gonna be, he's gonna have he's gonna have a legal pad. It's just Z, it's just <laughs> ZF, 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 ZF. Yeah. You call it ZF. ZF is so right. American. All right, we've come to the part of the show where we judge each other's picks and crown a winner. Uh, so barring any more uh, un, uh, guests. <laughs> Wait, no, no. I want I want Pearly to go out and poll everyone he meets in Santa Barbara and asks them and ask them how to say those two letters. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, you, Pearly. You want that all you want. All right, Pearly. Uh Celica GTS, a non-factory convertible, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it a right, I'm up. gonna go, I'm going down. It was thirty thousand dollars. That's a ten thousand dollar car. Like, yeah, oh, are it's... we are we judging the price? I'm judging the whole thing. Yeah, you judge oh, the wow. whole thing. Oh, okay. God. Presentation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Man, all man. right, all right, Pearly. What's your favorite car of the group? You know you. Well, love that this guy. is a tough one. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm tempted by the XK8, but it's British, so screw that. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> but saying by... Z isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say the British were wrong about everything. Touche. And uh, I, I like the, uh, you know, the Prowler is just a, you got to be kidding me, car. I mean, that's just no way I'm going to put a vote for the Prowler. Uh, I have to, you know, it, it, it comes down to the 944 or the, uh, or the. It's, it's been a long time since you rocked and rolled, Pearly. I'm going to go for the Cadillac. All right. Yeah. Jonathan. Yeah. 
by a Tony. Thank you. Le- leveraging Led Zeppelin there in the uh, in the <laughs> yeah, plea. plus I want to see the commercial again. So I want to see the commercial at the end. So let's let's Good. vote for the Cadillac so we can get the commercial at the end. I don't, I don't All think right. we can do the copyright, but okay. okay. Right. No, we, we can't. It's a we commercial. Get 15, yeah, it's we, a commercial. A commercial's okay. We get 15 Led seconds. Zeppelin's uh, uh, legal team cares. Or the license holders care. But well, they just, sold it. They sold it. They sold it to GM. The GM Trust paid me. for it. It doesn't matter. Uh, can we do 15 it. seconds of it? Wait, I think no, it's no, fair no. use. Let's all let's all like clap and sync up and sing a version of rock and roll to play yeah. behind it. <laughs> you can do that by yourself, JKC, please. All right. Uh Carlos is um 1999. Right. That's the first year uh, prowler. Car- right? I believe Carlos was next. Yeah, Carlos is 1999 Prowler, first year Sorry. of Prowler. I'm going to give it a sideways. 97 sideways. was the first year. Oh, it was not. Yeah, 99. Sorry, but it's oh, terrible. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I got to. I mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I hate doing it. Tough Carlos, doing Carlos, it. Carlos know, you're a nice but... guy, but you just you should need to take this yeah. loss. <laughs> Actually, no way. No, I got to get that good edit. <laughs> <laughs> we know. I love the integrity of window shop giving up oh, for yeah. a prowler. A prowler. <laughs> so if, I, if I'm to judge uh, the other vehicles here, like one of the strong reasons why I chose a prowler is the simplicity of like maintaining it. I look at the other vehicles here and mm, I didn't so, have a supercharger. Wait a second. I mean, I, I, I had a Celica with a 22 RE. There's nothing more easy. The simplicity of maintenance. maintenance. So I'm actually going to vote Celica for that reason. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Because I mean, the choice is a 944 a Jaguar XKR. A uh, Cadillac with the taillights are going to cost you six look, grand. Only, but, uh, look, only, can, but I can get you taillights. I got a guy. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, I'll take care of that. <laughs> you can trust the Cadillac. Yeah. All right, uh, Mr. Ramsey with the XLRV. Uh, that's a thumbs up. That's a great car. Thank you, thank you, um, man. The uh, the even though I'm not, I am not a 944 guy. It almost had me until I saw the Jaguar. So yes. I have, uh, I had one of those on a road trip around uh, the UK, and it was amazing. Oh, did you? Um, what did the bartenders think of it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she said it was a trouser dropping. Trouser dropping car. Did you drop trow? Drop trow. Did you hit hit all the sites from A to Z? <laughs> <laughs> well, I only went to Z because I, I wasn't there yet. <laughs> but next time I go back, Carlos, <laughs> Carlos, please grab that sound bite of Pearly yelling, "Drop trow." <laughs> <laughs> I just want that to be my ringer. <laughs> Drop trap. Uh, all trial. right, uh, Casey or uh, Casey Colwell's uh, 944 S2. Thumbs up. Good, good looking car. Even though it was an aftermarket. Top. Casey, Casey, what did you? Uh, what was your favorite car? And remember, we had a beautiful. I found our long termer. Yeah, you basically that did. That wasn't and, your long termer. Um, <laughs> I, I, I was surprised that uh, that those had depreciated that much. Uh, yeah, nobody wants them. I, I know, Jaguars, which is which is kind of a yeah. scary proposition. I hear you. Yeah, um, it's a Jaguar, but you won't get that with a North Star. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's like all scary propositions. But I believe so. um, so are you going to go? Scary prop- are you going to go no, with no. a fellow factory convertible, non factory? No, I'm not going to go. I'm not. No, uh, I'm not going to go with the Celica. It's been a long time since you rocked and rolled too, Casey. I I uh, I. I, I <laughs> No, I'm gonna go with the Jag. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. He, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going, I'm going with the Jag. I'm going with the Jag. I'm going with the Jag. I mean, it was it was tough between the Jag and the XLR. That's that's a tough one. But um, yeah, if I was gonna buy, I'd rather just have a Corvette. So you want the XLR then? Wait, wait. Oh, no, no. I'd say I'd rather have a Corvette. Oh, man. Over, a, over, over the okay. Over XLR. the XLR. I'll pick you up at the shop because you're gonna be there a lot. <laughs> With a, with a push rod with small block, the XLR. The, no, <laughs> the, 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 the Jack, the Jack, the Jack has already got it. You know, it's already got a permanent spot at the at the uh, Jack dealership. <laughs> it's already got an oil spot on the floor. Yeah. yeah. Wait, no, I didn't look. How many times did that thing? How many unscheduled stops did that have at the dealer? <laughs> Had plenty. Uh, no, it, it was just getting maintained annually. It's like the guy would take it to the dealer. No, no, no. no. I'm no, saying our long term. What, what was what was our long term car? That was what issue was that? In? It was it was pretty reliable. It's getting maintained. Oh my month, It was getting maintained annually. And this dude will say anything <laughs> when he when he says when he smells victory. He Casey, will say anything. Actually, lined up with colonoscopies, which is nice. 
<laughs> there were electrical there were electrical gremlins but it was fine no. the car did well. electrical it, gremlins oh. i cannot oh man this guy it's a british let's, car with electrical just, gremlins let's just finish Shocking. the voting and what, get out of here that would happen. <laughs> all right um judge the jaguar xk8 convertible all aluminum beautiful color combo beautiful car but dashboard. i mean it, it, just, it just screams maintenance nightmare eh, they're fine that's that hav8 is pretty reliable Pretty, oh my <laughs> pretty reliable. They have they pretty have, reliable. They have chain guide. They have chain guide issues. But once you swap that out, they're reliable. Chain guide <laughs> issues. <laughs> issues. Oh chain guide God. issues. Yeah. Other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how is the play? So <laughs> why don't you just vote for the car you're after? <laughs> All right. Um, I think my. Favorite... I was hoping there was gonna. I... What's that? Nothing. I was just looking at the rants and raves, and I was like, "Oh, is there going to be one in here of Tony like totally like bad mouthing this car?" No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not quoted perfect. in it. Um, my quote about getting a colonoscopy and it didn't make the magazine. I guess not yet. All right. Um, my that's favorite your next car, column. I'm a little concerned that Ramsey's car is too expensive because it is an eBay. Auction. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, oh. that's so I'm I'm gonna go with uh. Casey's Porsche. I like that. So what's the score? What and he's going to, and he protected his vote. One are you kidding me? You don't know you protected your victory. Are you yeah, really? No, no, I, your own victory. <laughs> you, got, you, you secured your own victory by not voting for anything. I else. didn't know. What? Did, did oh, I get Is that what happened? Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> that, are you telling me I won? Oh, this guy. <laughs> this yeah. guy. Okay. Yeah, I thought, Jonathan, you didn't have two votes. I thought you had two votes. So, oh, so did you? It, did it, you is really? This, <laughs> is, this yeah. short, is this the sort of corporate gamesmanship that got you the EIC job? Uh, yes, is that really. what it was? The yes, sort of really. manipulative way you were able to no, politically you, maneuver right. yourself into winning? You have two, Tony, and everyone else. Uh, well, not everyone else. <laughs> Three other people have one. Pearly, your worldview is so twisted. <laughs> I, I, what am I going to do? Deny that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was a worthy uh, winner. Should we probably end this? Should we end this? <laughs> we we got to go. To, I got to go to that other meeting. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to come to you. <laughs> <Pretty soon. laughs> All right. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Please leave uh, who you think the winner was in this uh, in this competition and what your favorite convertibles are and what you would have selected for under 30 grand. And please hit 35, the like button. wasn't it? No, I would certainly. say that my Celica is going to be running long after all these other garbage cars have fallen apart. No, we're just yes. going to spend a lot of money to keep them running. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I think the Prowler might outlive the Celica. <laughs> Nobody's going to drive the Prowler. There is that. Which is why I, it might I mean, outlive I, the Celica. I'm, that's true. I think the Prowler would outlive all of these cars. I think Maybe the, I think, I I think the thing about the Prowler is this color of a bruise. And I think that's about the right thing for that car. It's just like driving a bruise. The only thing I wish okay. I could find is a Prowler with the that chroma key color stuff that would change. That was really big in the late nineties. Mm. What was the name of that color? Like the Mustang. The Ford, the Mystic. Mystic. Yeah, Mystic. Yeah, yeah. 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 That would have been like All right. peak late nineties. All right, let's. Can was, we end this? Can we end? Three M or B A S S. Thanks. Bye. Have a nice day. Thanks for like, subscribe. Have a good day. We'll see you next week. Okay. I turn my camera on, I cut my fingers on the way, on the way. Like a good at night, I saw them stars go up, made me untouchable for life.